Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. It has been about two months since I posted a video, so I have really missed this. I'm gonna talk about what's been going on and just do kind of a little chit chat catching up video before we jump into other videos that I wanna create. First off, one of the big things that has been going on for me that has affected my ability to post as frequently is that the apartment next door to me is having construction done on it, which means that every single day for weeks and weeks and weeks, they are in there banging, hammering, drilling, doing all this stuff. They're working on it right now, which is why I'm sitting in my bedroom instead of my normal filming spot, which is out in my living room. It is so loud, it is inescapable. It's also really difficult for me working from home because I'll be trying to have like really important client meetings and right next door, like the wall where my desk is, where I sit for work and then the wall that goes to the next apartment where they're working, it's like right next to my desk, so it's been very difficult for me to work from home and also film any content for the last few weeks because this has all been going on i have also had a very busy couple of months the fall is kind of a busier season for me at work there's just been a lot going on at work i'm not going to get into all that but a major project that i have been working on for months finally is getting to the next stage which is really good news because that will slow things down a little bit for me i was also in paris for a week in the fall with my boyfriend on a little trip just because which I have posted a lot of reels about Paris if you want to check out on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram reels they're all on all platforms but I posted quite a few reels about my trip to Paris I also want to make like a long form video about my trip to Paris and like our itinerary and everything we did any recommendations I have but prepping planning for that trip and then taking that trip was a big ordeal and then also just some personal things have been going on like many people I can experience seasonal depression sometimes especially around the time that we go I don't know if it's going in or going out of daylight savings time I can never keep it straight but when the time changes and it's like really dark really early that makes it really difficult for me to like be motivated and do things and I just feel like I want to get into bed at 5 p.m. and not get out I think now that it's been a few weeks since the time changed I'm getting a little bit more used to it but all of those things combined, like my mental health not being great, all the noise in the apartment next to me, being really busy at work, traveling, and then also recently my grandmother passed away, so I have been dealing with that with my family, trying to help my parents make all the arrangements that they need to make. I went home for several days to help with that. So a lot has been going on and it has prevented me from posting the way that I want to. The other thing that's been kind of lingering around my mind is that I really want to start doing more like home decor, antiquing, vintage shopping, thrifting, making over my apartment, making over friends' apartments. Like that's really the direction that I want my channel to go in. And of course I wanted to start with my own apartment. So I had done an apartment tour, which I will link if you guys wanna go watch it. But in the apartment tour, I talked about how there's a lot of bits and pieces of the apartment that are not finish like there's rooms that i want to add to my office room is pretty like empty other than my desk so there's just like improvements that i've been wanting to make and it's been really hard to manage financially like the amount of money i would have to invest to do the upgrades i want to do i i'm not in a position where i can just purchase everything all at once and do it so that's been a little hard trying to be realistic with my budget but also realistic with the things that I wanna film and the things that I wanna do at home. So that's definitely a balance. I really want to be realistic on this channel and not give anyone unrealistic expectations of like these people on TikTok and stuff who just do like tons and tons and tons of home projects and they have unlimited money and their homes look beautiful and amazing and they're always working on something new. Like I wish that I could do that, but I'm really not financially in a position to do that. I don't have time for that because I'm not a full-time content creator. So. It's tough because I know that that's the direction I want my channel to go in, but getting to the point where I can comfortably afford to keep up with that has been a little challenging. The other thought that crept into my mind and then was immediately squashed was whether I was gonna do Vlogmas this year. And the answer to that is no. I did attempt to do Vlogmas last year and I think I got like halfway through. I wanted to say I made like 14 videos or something like that. And it was so exhausting. It was so much work. I wasn't getting a lot of views on a lot of the videos. Like I just felt like I was pushing myself to like crank out content that was kind of low effort for me nobody was really watching it and I just felt like 
The reason people do this is because ad spend is the highest at this time of year on YouTube. So creators who make a lot of videos in December make more money than usual off of those videos. And last year I wasn't even monetized. So I was like working so hard and not getting anything out of it. This year my channel is monetized, but I just know that it's way too difficult and I can't push myself that hard. I don't want to try it and fail it again. So I'm not going to be doing Vlogmas, but I am trying to get back into posting more regularly, like I said, because I really like doing this. There's a lot of things that I want to share with you guys. I just sometimes feel this sense of like, does anyone actually care about this? Like who cares about my opinion? I overheard a comment that someone made about me and my channel recently that's been sticking with me, which is like someone in passing mentioned something about me and this girl said, oh, that girl who's trying to be an influencer, like kind of in a nasty way. And I just like, stuff like that really can get to me because it makes me feel like, oh yeah, I'm just like trying to be an influencer. Like I think the emphasis is on like trying and failing or like trying and struggling or like trying because nobody cares. Although if one of your friends was like getting into baking, you wouldn't be like, oh, that girl who's trying to be a baker. You just be like, oh yeah, she's into baking. Like it's, I, for some reason being an influencer is this very, divisive sort of thing. The other thing I've been struggling with since I monetized my channel is the whole idea of being an influencer or trying to be an influencer is like, the primary function of influencers is as an advertising tool. It's like they're doing a lot of brand deals so they can sell you stuff. Brands are partnering with influencers so they can sell you stuff. And that is not really my prime focus. Of course, I would be very happy to do more brand partnerships. I've done one so far that was a trade for product. It was actually my last video. And I would always accept a brand sponsorship from somebody that I really like their brand. I would legitimately use the brand. I think it is worth purchasing new because that's the other problem. I really don't purchase a lot of my things new. Almost everything I own, clothing, home decor, everything, almost all of it is secondhand. And that's what I wanna encourage is for people to shop secondhand first. So when it comes to brand deals, like that can be a little bit challenging. And I've been thinking that now that my channel's monetized and it's been growing, how do I wanna approach being an influencer even though my channel is still really small? I wanna grow it, but I wanna grow it in a way that I find ethical and like aligned with my values and all of that sort of stuff. Also, I completely realized that I am just rambling. This video is gonna be a little bit all over the place. I feel like I'm getting used to talking on here again, but these are all the thoughts that have been running through my mind the past couple of months. So I am really trying to figure out the direction of this channel, how to partner with brands that are beneficial to me, that are relevant to me, that I think would be relevant to you guys, that I would feel good about supporting. I'm also really hesitating about putting myself in a box. I know that a lot of people who are giving advice to people trying to grow their channel will say things like, oh, you need to really create a specific niche. You have to use these keywords. You have to make your videos about this topic and really define your audience and all of this stuff. I think those are good pieces of advice. But for me, my favorite channels to watch are people where I just really like the person and I would watch almost anything they post because I like them and I like their personality and I like what they have to say. And that's pretty much the type of community I would rather cultivate here. I really could put myself in a box and do very niche type videos and grow a following faster that way probably. But I would really rather that people are here because they like me, they wanna spend time with me and my ideas and I wanna share things with them that they care about. I don't wanna just like hack my way into getting as many views as possible as fast as possible, you know what I mean? Another thing I've been seeing a lot lately and I'm sure that these videos get targeted to me because they know that I'm trying to grow my following are these like Instagram reels that'll be like, here's how to get the most views on your Instagram reel. It's like use a six second video that has a looping sound and write a lot of text on the video or like write a really long caption so people will have to read your caption and the video will play over and over and like, Again, maybe those are good tips for people who wanna maximize their watch time and stuff like that. But to me, it just feels like I would be tricking you into spending more time here with me. I don't wanna trick people into watching my videos. I don't wanna trick people into my videos going viral. Like I want people to watch them because they're worth watching and because they enjoy it and they wanna spend time with it. Not because I tricked you and forced you by using all these little 
You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't feel right to me. Finding balance on the internet is very difficult. That is something I have certainly learned over the last two years or so of focusing on this more intentionally. So all of this long ranting and rambling is to say I I'm finding my place on the internet. I have a lot of ideas. You guys have probably noticed I posted a lot of short form content over the last couple of months. Even though I haven't posted a long form video on YouTube in about two months, I have made a ton of reels and I really enjoy making reels. So that's something I definitely want to keep up with very regularly. I was just accepted into the YouTube shorts creator community. So that's something I need to explore more and see what kind of resources they offer. But I have really missed making long form content and I want to get back into it. Like I mentioned, I did do this amazing trip to Paris back in October and I have a lot of little clips from that that I want to share. So that will most likely be my next video is my Paris recap, like what we did in Paris, my advice for you if you're traveling there, possible itineraries, places to visit, places to eat, all of that kind of stuff. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And then going into the new year, I want to really make a more specific strategy and schedule for how I'm doing my videos. So all that is to say thank you to everyone that has stuck with me. I'm very grateful to have you here and I hope that I will see a lot more of you in 2024. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>